is this the most beautiful classical piece ever written? Now, I don't know you. I don't know what type of music you listen. I don't know what type of music you like. But I have to say that this heartbreaking melody must be at least one of the top five most beautiful classical pieces ever written. Of course, this is the Adagio by Concierto de Aranguetz. Hopefully I'm pronouncing this correctly. By the amazing composer Joaquin Rodrigo. Now in this lesson, I wanna show you how to play the melody and the chords. Before you judge me, let's talk about the arrangement I just played at the beginning of the video. Of course, uh, it's a different arrangement. I'm not playing the original Adagio. I changed key. This one is played in the key of A minor, but the original Adagio is in the key of B minor. And the reason for that is because I wanted to come up with something that was easy to play and easy to explain. If you wanna learn the original composition, I really recommend that you buy the original score and learn it from there. This is more of a simple tutorial for people who love the melody and wanna try to learn it. So without further ado, let's get started. Now the first part of this beautiful piece, which is the part we are learning today, can be broken down into four sections, A, A, B, and B. Now the A section is the one in the key of B, minor and the melody starts with the oboe and then is played again with the guitar. Now again I arranged this one in the key of A minor just to make it easier to play and teach. So we are combining the melody and the chords in one arrangement. So the melody starts on the second string, fret 5, we have 5, pull off to fret 3 and 5 again. Now this is an A minor chord, so I like to play the fifth open string, just the bass of the chord. Then I'll strum the A minor twice, lightly, then the melody again. Now we have zero, uh, F on fret one, and G on fret three. Now on this note, I'm playing the third open string, uh, which highlights a G, the G major chord. In the original arrangement, this is a beautiful A minor 9 with the, with the E on the bass. Um, but in the A minor, we can't really play this chord. We should play like this. Um, but it's not really the original chord. So I really just decided to play the G string open. And then the melody is played on fret 5. I pull off to fret 3 and fret number one again on the first string. We go back to the A minor, and we play the melody uh, within the chord here. We strum the A minor chord, and then the second string, fret number three, and the first open string. Now from here we have, the melody is entirely played on the uh, first string. We have zero, one, three, and five, and seven. And we open up with a different chord, the D minor chord. So it's a D sus4 because the melody starts on fret 3, so we have 0, 2, 3, and 3. And I like to strum the chords on each beat. Um, so D sus4, then the melody on fret 1, 0. We strum the chord again with the first open string and then the melody again. Now strum the chord again with 0, 2 and 3 and then the melody. Now this is uh, first open string, second string fret 1 and the second open string. And we finish with this chord, it's 0, uh, 2, and 1, and the melody, 3, 0, and 2, and then we have Now we open up with this beautiful E with the flat nine. So the melody is on the second string. And then we have the melody on the third string, fret number two. So I bring the index finger from fret one to fret two on the third string. And then the second string again. Now E with 
flat 9, E major, and then the melody, 0, 1, 3, and you can play either an E7 or an E diminished chord. And then the melody, which is 1 and 0, and then we finish with the A sus2, which is 0, 2, 2, and 0, and the melody on the third string. Sus2 and A minor. Now this section is played again uh, by the guitar and there are way more notes, way more variations. I'll tell you more about it in a moment. Let's just learn the B section played in the key of F major. We are playing this arrangement a whole step down, so the original key would be G major, but we're playing this in F major. And the melody starts with the F major chord. Um, now the melody is played on fret 5, we got 5, 3, and 5, with the bass on F, 4th string fret number 3. And I like to play the bass right before the melody. Now F major, F major 7, and then the melody. So it's played on fret 5, 7, and 8, then 10 to 8 with a pull off, and 7. And then we have the E minor chord. Now I like to play the E minor like this. Um, Second, the fourth string fret number two, and then the melody is on the first string fret number three, one, and three. But I also like to play the bass. So I'll pluck the um, sixth string, and then fourth string with the thumb, and RPG at the chord, with the melody. Then E minor, strummed, and E minor seven, with the strum. Now the melody. So the melody starts with the um, fret 7, 5 and 3, 1 and 3, and then D minor. Now I'm playing this triad here on fret 5, 6 and 7. And then I move the melody, so it's uh, 5, 3, 1, and 0. And then the melody on 0, 3, 1, and 3 with the chord. Now, melody on fret number 1, 3, 0, and 1. And then we play this beautiful A minor over C. Now we're only playing the C on fret 3 and the A on fret 2 and the first open string. This is the melody. Then 3, 1, 3, and the chord again. So you have. And then we have. So I'm playing the melody on the third string fret number two, three times, then E major. I strum the chord up to the second string, then one, and then three, E diminished. And then the melody, one, zero, A sus two.
Now remember that we uh, mentioned that each section is repeated twice. The first time it's played with the oboe, which is what we learned so far. And then the second time is played by the guitar. Now when the melody is played with the guitar, you can hear way more notes, more embellishments, more color added to the melody. Now you don't have to play the second section like you know Paco de Lucia does or Pepe Romero. You can actually come up with simple variations that I'm gonna show you right now. So one of the things you can do, just add two or three notes like this. So in this case, I played the melody and then I added these four notes. So I'm playing six, five, three, and five with a pull off. And then three and five again. And you want to memorize this structure because we're going to repeat the same for the other chords. For this chord, I will play fret seven to fret three with a pull off and A minor again. Now, I add some notes here on the E major. Now, for the B section, we can do the same type of embellishments. So I'm doing the same thing, the same uh, structure. I always have two pull-offs. In this case, I have seven, five, and three, and back to five, and then three and five. Now melody, E minor, same embellishment, but this time on five, three, one, and then three again, and then one and three. So you see how I always repeat the same embellishment. Now for the D minor, I'm adding a little more. So I have the D minor chord, and then I have this pattern from five, five, seven, five, and then the same thing from three, from one, and then from zero. So. E major and you can also play this phrase if you want um, or you can stick with the E major chord and the A 
Simone. Now, of course, bear in mind that this is a, a different arrangement. We are playing it in a different key and we are adding different types of embellishments. I think the goal here is to learn how to play the melody, the simplified melody. And of course, if you want to learn the original, you can get the original score and learn this beautiful melody. Now, I hope you enjoyed this lesson, guys. Let me know if you like it. I'm going to leave you to practice this beautiful melody and I'll see you next time. Have a super day.